It's a conspiracy, baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's your boy Do with Encrypted Enclosure. I want to thank everybody that be checking out the videos. Please subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share if you want. Um, that really help us reach the goal that we're trying to do over here. And today we're going to do, you know, a review on dog food, feeding your pups, and what to do and what not to do. So today we're going to talk about Pro Plan. Pro Plan. I feed Pro Plan to my Frenchies. Not to my bullets. Um, pro, plan, pro plan, you can get this at your local tractor supply. I like to go to Petco. Petco got a lot of different flavors of pro, pro plan. This is made by Purina. Um, And as you can see, this bag right here, this is for under one year old pups. Um, and it has lamb and rice formula. This one right here, this one has chicken and rice formula. What you gotta be really, really careful with. A lot of dogs are allergic to chicken. You have to try it out to see how your dog respond to it. Chicken is probably the most common allergy that these dogs have, especially Frenchies. And this bag right here is a development 3020. And it's like, you know, help with weight or manage weight. Um, it's a lot of good ingredients in here um it has lamb chicken rice calcium it's packed with a whole lot of good things in this bag um right here on the back you can see a chart it's a chart on there you can read it it actually tell you how much to give your pup um depending on the age and the weight so you can't go wrong just look at the back of the bag i like to mix my bags for my pups. So I'll take these two bags right here and mix it in with this bag. Now this bag is a big bag. Um, This is sensitive skin and stomach. So like I said, some, and this has salmon and rice. It's the formula for salmon and rice. Some Frenchies are allergic to chicken. You have to be careful with chicken. And um, I'm gonna show y'all what I do when I mix it and put it together and make a yummy, delicious meal for my Frenchies. Come on. So this is what I do. I take this, pour it in here. Make sure I get it all in there. Only pour half, because it's hard to mix up sometimes. So I take this half, pour it in. And I take this half, Pull it in, get it all in there. And this bag, these bags are, I want to say six pounds. And this bag is actually four pounds. And they for the same price. We mix it all in. Got a nice blend of all kinds of kibbles. And the dogs, they look. And you actually can see the weight that, that they put on from it. Especially if you into, you know, bulking up your dog. Okay. So now, the next thing I want to show y'all is feeding your dog. You do not want to feed your dog on a flat surface. You don't want your dog neck going all down, trying to eat into the bowl and eat up. You want to get the bowl raised up. So I use this Nita feeder. It's actually a cool bowl. Has a little water tray at the bottom. You know how dogs is messy. And it has little holes in there. So when anything spill out, this catches it. You ain't got to go and clean up a whole bunch. Um, as well as I recommend Wipe your bowls out after every feeding. A lot of people don't know this though, that your dog can actually develop something called Guardia. And Guardia comes from your dog eating his own waste or another dog waste, or licking a bowl that another dog may have left saliva behind. And now your dog is coming and eating. So I recommend that you don't allow your dog to eat out each other's bowl. Whatever bowl is their bowl, that's their bowl. 
and make sure you wipe it down after every feeding or you're going to get that trip to the vet which costs money so i use need a feeder and it's a really good bowl this is for my smaller pups and i'm gonna show you how i feed my pups come with me they also have pro plan in the can and you see this one is with chicken and rice which my dog is okay to use um they sell them in the 12 pack um sometimes they got different flavors some stores let you mix them up you can see the 12 pack right here you can mix them up mix different flavors but once you find out what your dog like and can take i suggest you stick right there with it um you can get that attractive supply your local pet store i usually get it from petco even though with me showing y'all this food that I use, you never want to change your dog's food abruptly. You want to gradually get him used to it. So you give him his usual bowl, and then you give him a quarter of the new food. And then as the days go by, you keep doing that, and then you get to 50%. So you get to 50 and 50. And then you gradually getting the dog used to this new food because, um, and you do that all the way until you're able to give the dog all of this food and, you know, less of the other food until it's fully switched over and used to it. That usually take like 10, 12, 14 days. Somewhere in there, your dog should be good, but you don't want to just do it abruptly. It will mess your dog's stomach up and they will be having the runs and that's a mess. You don't want right, to clean so that up. what I like to do is this. I take a cup, and I like to scoop the whole cup up. I never really use the whole cup, um, especially for my pups, they only five months, so. Fill it up just a little bit, get it nice, put it in there. I'm gonna show y'all what I do. Get that in there. Like I said, there's always some left. Let's put it back in the bag. So this is what it is. This is what it look like. So for some reason, I never give my puppies hard kibble. I don't know why that they tend to get sick when you give them hard kibble. Um, I always take a cup of hot water, hot water, and I pull it down on there, and I just get it all wet. Now what's gonna happen is this is gonna swell up. Of course, it's gonna cool off. I'm gonna wait about 10, 15 minutes before I feed my pups. And I swell it up, something like a noodle. Um, I, I believe that in doing my research is, you know, puppies who's three, four months, five months, they just came off their mind nipple off their mother nipple. So you don't wanna just put them, their teeth is not fully developed, so they're not chewing the food, they're swallowing it. And when this food is hard, it doesn't break down in their stomach for some odd reason. So uh, I remember I bought a puppy um, from a breeder, and he forg I forgot to ask, do he wet the food or not? Um, and I should have knew better. I actually just started giving the dog, which was four months, hard kibble. He was sick for a month straight. Couldn't hold anything down. Um, it messed his insides up, messed his stomach up. So you never want to just, if you want to be on the safe side, wet the dog food first. Don't give it to the dog hard kibble. Don't give, don't, don't do it. I recommend that you don't do it. It'll save you money and save you that vet trip you don't want to take. Um, so what I do is I let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Let it swell up, it's get real soggy and soft, and it's still similar to the mush, you know, that the puppies are used to when you wean them off the mom. So we're gonna let this sit up, sit up for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna feed my pups. All right, so 10, 15 minutes later, your kibble gonna look like this after letting it sit. Look at that, smushy. Breaks right down, you see that? Boom. So look, this is what I like to do. I spoke about dying. I, I like to give my pups a dime. Go look at my other video. I talk all about dying. Um, so I take it and I just like to put some on there. This is high calorie. I like my puppies bulk in this healthy form. Um, and now if I do that, I always give a little ground beef sometimes. At least one meal a day, I put a little ground beef on their food and they love it. And this is just giving them that extra, them extra calories, extra, extra calories, nutrition, fat. And it's, it's pretty good. Yep. So, it looks like that. 
And I just take a little spoon and I mix it in. And a lot of times, I don't even have to give them water because it's, it's still submerged in water. So they getting everything in one. You know, I make a little mess. Mix it in. And that vanilla um, Don flavor, they love it. So right away, as soon as I put it out, they're going to they're gonna attack it, take it down. All right, let's feed the pups. Hey, pet man. Hey, Siri. Y'all ready to eat? Come on. Come on, look. Immediately. They go right to it. You see they bowls not too low to the ground. Look, check them out. They woofing it. Woofing it down. They love it. Good boy, Pat, man. Good boy. Yo, thank y'all for rocking with me. Until my next video, I'm out.